right now we are walking towards the bus, bus stop. We are going to the airport. We're going to Korea this time. Um, how fantastic. So, okay. So now we are walking to the bus stop because I only take buses. I do not take any other sort of transportation. Uh, really, but sometimes I'm forced to take the MTR because it's cheap. Um, yeah, this is actually Christy's favorite luggage. Um, it's got a lot of memories in it, so it's worth taking it for. Well, it's kind of my lucky luggage, I guess I could say, but it's really memorable. Why is this light like shining? I don't like it at all. It's strange, but yeah, walking to the bus stop. Once upon a time, a few mistakes ago, I was in your sights. You got me alone. You found me. You found me. You found me. You... Okay, so just now I had this weird thing where I thought that you could, you don't have to be there to check in like my mom could check in for me. But then I thought, after I told my mom, my mom was like, where's your common sense? You, you, you can't just check in for somebody or else they would be like, they, there would be a bunch of like strangers or it could, you could get terror attacks or something easily. But that didn't come to me. So I thought that you could just check in for someone, like my mom could check in for me, but I don't have to be there. They don't have to see my face. I know I'm crazy, right? But I don't know what I was thinking, but... Yeah, so now I'm gonna go check in. Well, Terminal 2 check in. Oh, what is that supposed to be? We just checked in from like there. And uh, I don't know where I'm going now. Probably gonna go and go through security. And I don't know what it's called actually. Departures. That's what it's called. But I'm just gonna go through security and go inside the terminal um, to the towards the gate and get ready for my first time to Seoul or first time to Korea. I mean, I went there before but it was just for transit. So this will be my first time actually staying there, I guess. Okay, so it's just ripped my ticket and we are on like that bridge kind of thing and we are walking to the plane now and it's kind of rainy like when I mean kind of I mean it's pouring with rain outside come on there's like thunderstorms and everything so my flights probably got delayed because of that but I'm not actually really sure they said it's a flight bridge connection thing but I don't really know if they're lying or not typical rain weather here and it's probably like I don't know, almost 1.30 right now. So, yeah. We were supposed to depart, like, fly, lift off, I guess. At, like, lift off at, like, 1.25. Uh, but you, I'm still here right now, so I guess that's not happening, right? We are, we are in Seoul now. And this is amazing actually it's only three degrees so I'm actually kind of warm wearing my hoodie I could say um, we just got our luggage and we are trying to find the bus stop to bus stop yeah the bus to our hotel and um, enjoy the scenery and the sunrise like there but you know um, yeah it's chilly but Bright day. Okay, I just went into that 7 Eleven there and I saw a strawberry um, sandwich, and I guess that the guidebook isn't really fake. There really is a strawberry sandwich, and I'm gonna get it maybe later. We are now here at Anastasia's favorite store, which is Dunkin' Donuts, of course. Look at all the donuts. Oh my god. Okay, so we're here in Duncan Donuts and I have a glazed donut. And my mom ordered this kind of coffee donut. What is it? A cappuccino donut. And that is some weird coffee drink and that is hot chocolate. That's the way to start the day. Okay guys, so we just did a lot of like not shopping but we went into like a bunch of stores and we looked 
looked at them, I guess. And we found a lot of stuff that's kind of very interesting. And yeah, and then now we are here at this Bins, Beans Bins Coffee here. And they have like strawberry stuff, I guess, waffles cakes and all that kind of good stuff so we're gonna go and check it out right now so let's go okay so we're at coex mall and there's an aquarium here that i'm gonna go to later um now we're just trying to find something to eat because i'm like hungry and i need some food because i'm trying to find something korean because why would you eat italian in Korea when I could just eat it back in Hong Kong like yeah some Korean food okay so this is what we have for lunch um, I'm having ramen and my mom's having just udon noodles and yeah I guess that's it so now we just finished lunch and there was this really nice lady the waiter was really nice but she can't speak English and we can't speak Korean so there's this kind of language barrier thing but I owe a really big thanks to um, uh, to the Google Translate because her phone was ringing and she didn't know so I, we tried to tell her but because of the language barrier we couldn't actually really tell her so we so I used Google Translate and then she read it in Korean and she found out that her phone was ringing so me and my mom had a cheers to that and that was awesome and now I'm just walking to the now I'm just walking to the aquarium because I like looking at like fish I could like my friend Christy she loves to look at fish one time I went all the way to the supermarket on the South Island just to look at fish with her so oh my god that is amazing guys so we are now here at the Coax Aquarium and there's like fish on the top floating here and it's really amazing guys you have to look at this kind of fish man it's like a unicorn and there's like fish up top and it's like so cool guys Guys, we are now walking over to. We are now walking to the amazing Jumba Juice. Oh my God, here it is, guys! Jumba Juice. This is the moment of truth. See, look, it's a Donald Duck movie, and it's orange. I'm gonna get that. Let's go. So now we are at Jumba Juice. Jumba Juice. So this one is my strawberry smoothie and this is a strawberry juice and yeah having tea here at Jamba Juice. Okay guys so now we are at our hotel room and I'm gonna give you a very brief tour of it so let's go. So first here's the door so when you come in it will look like that and it's just really simple cheap hotel because this is a very cheap trip, I suppose. My cheap, uh, <laughs> this basic. basic trip. So we just need basic things. Bed, maybe sofa, table and chair, TV. And as for this, I call it a space shuttle. It, yeah, because it really looks like one. So you basically open the door and there's the bathroom. So you step in, it's like a, a step in between. So you have to like step up. 
And then there's me here in my album. And so this really looks like a space shuttle, guys. Oh my god. So it's like the same floor. There's no like gap or like different level. So you just like close the doors and there you are. In a space shuttle. Really, that's legit how it looks like. And we've got this toilet, which is like those automatic things that everybody likes to play with but me because I'm weird. And so yeah, that's basically just the tour here. Well, let's see what we can see outside. There's only just one window. So, well, we can see. We can see other people working. So, <laughs> we just stare at him right now, okay? And then here we have this tiny little cabinet thing with slippers that I'm not going to wear and it just basically closes like that. And just really basic really. Look at that TV. That TV is horribly old. Oh my god. So we are now at this place where you get Korean barbecue and um, yeah, meat. So they fry it there and just wait for it to grill and yeah. Hey guys, so we just finished um, having our dinner and, <coughs> and post part dinner now. We are walking down the street hoping to find something else to eat. Maybe like some corn or strawberries or anything like sausages or something. But yeah, it's a long street and there's a lot of food you could eat here. So that's good. So right now I'm just enjoying my butter, corn. Yeah, and it's really good. So you should try it. And my mom's butter corn is also my mom's without butter, but mine has butter, and it's really good, guys. So here is a huge nature republic. It's huge. would drive here and now at night it's all just food stalls and a random motorcycle who decides to show up um yeah oh my god guys i am eating spicy and there's this random dude behind me he just the camera what is wrong with him yeah so i'm eating spicy rice cake now let's show you The rice cake got too spicy and we literally died so we just went to our hotel room and ate it with water.